Do we have to approve for it to go on the internet? After we took the photos and recorded. God, it's that. Um, we're just waiting for one person, are we? Yeah, Bev's Sorry for coming. being late. Um, He's in, I think. When we, when, um, yeah, when we did this last time, I think I did a little bit of a, just a, a, a brief intro. So, what are we, this is the person search. We are, I think we're going to be describing, uh, uh, outlining how the person search feature works on time work in the cloud. That's the purpose of this meeting. Yeah. And I think the idea is that um, you guys, everyone's going to see this. Webby's not present, I don't think, is he? No, no um, he's doing it again. But we'll, so I'm going to post this on YouTube afterwards, and then uh, anybody who's, who misses it can, can catch up there. So, I'm going to, who's going to go through this? Yeah, I'll do the talking and Rich can do the uh, the showing. Okay. Good, share it now. Yeah, share it, Rich. Okay, so, what's that stuff at the bottom, Rich? Can you get rid of that or not? What, so, what I'd like to say as well, because we're going to put this on the internet, can, can, we, can, you, can you log in, put the password in first? Before you, before, before we share the screen, maybe do you think? Don't, don't sign in yet, Rich. I want to show something. Okay. Okay. All right. Over to you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we've had a bit of feedback. Uh, I think Mike has spoken to a few customers, and there was a bit of th feedback about how bright it was. Um, <laughs> so what we've done is we've introduced a new mod. So we've got light mod dusk and dark so dusk really very similar to the light mode but it's just toned down a little bit so first of all rich just jump in with light mode just so we can remember what light mode looks like i think that looks fantastic mm -hmm. so this is light mode yep brilliant and if you just sign out log back in with dusk yeah it's just slightly torn down that's all um like reach with all the fun taken out there. <laughs> that's it yeah just just so sort, subtly torn down uh just log back out again rich i i want to vote for a trippy uh, acid mod Mode. <laughs> I think I think the only other mode we'll probably have in the future. Obviously, we'll, we might adjust this dusk mode to, to slightly, but the only other mode I could see us having is something for like a high contrast mode for people who struggle uh, seeing yeah, properly. Disabilities, yeah, yeah, like okay. a disability sort of mode. Um, so just put it back to fun mode. Okay, and if fun we sign mode. in, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which is this. All right, and if we click on personnel. Okay, now what, what, so the bit I'm showing today is the area at the top. So where the employee is, we, internally we refer to that as the, uh, the navigator. Area. I, want us to, I want us to start referring to that. I think that's a great title that we should use now when we're showing it to people. Right. So on the documentation I'm going to put together next week, I'll, I'll, that's what I'm going to refer to it as. So that's yep. what we call it from now on, yeah. So if you look carefully there, so what you can see is the, obviously you can't go left anymore, okay, and so it's disabled. And I think the sort order that it's probably in at the moment is, um, it'll be last name and first name order at the moment. OK, and then under it, you can see a little bit of information. So what you've got there is you've got um, a way of quickly uh, sending an email to the person that's selected. And if you've got it set up, you can also um, start up a, a telephone call to him as well by clicking that button. Very good. Yeah. Um, and then just close it back up again, Rich. So. Um, also, what you'll see now is we've connected the bottom, uh, the essential tab to the navigator. So if you just move right one, it does what you'd expect it to do. And if you move left one, 
filter back again. Yeah. So you can actually edit that information now and update it. So if it just edit, add a couple of preferred pronouns in, Rich. Add another one. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's sort of fully functioning now. Uh, that's that's the first time that we've connected the navigator to some real information. And can, I, can I just jump in with something yeah. so that people aren't worried? The actual fields haven't been confirmed below. This is just to prove that the it's navigation like works. Yeah, the, yeah. This yet to be. Yeah, they, they're to be they're all up in the air. Them. I think a lot Absolutely. of them that you see below you yeah, are uh, almost going to be labels off the uh, job specification. So I'll, I'm going to have a talk with um, with the time work team and and see how far we want to take that because at the moment the employee the employment status you can adjust willy nilly can't you in in the old version yeah you can just doesn't matter what somebody's job is all of a sudden you can change their employment status to whatever you want yeah, yeah. so I want to speak to the team about. Are we happy with that or shall we do it all off the job spec um, this time? Yep. Yeah. So there's a few things that, I, that that they might turn into labels eventually. So mm -hmm. that actually you just want to see what, what is he employed? You know, what his employment status is and so on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If we go back to the person, so we've got, we call this sort of quick search or search. Yes, quick search normally. So, if you just delete it out, Rich, yeah, and if you do something like um, AT, okay, so that's showing four results, okay, so they've got AT in it. One other thing that we haven't completed yet is in this quick search and also in the grid, uh, grid search, um, we're going to highlight, so almost like you've used a yellow highlighter on the word that's been searched for because sometimes especially on the grid it's hard to pick out what you've searched for yeah. so that at will be highlighted um yeah. so you can see what it's affecting because all of a sudden if it brought everybody it, it's more you see it more on the grid but yeah, imagine yeah. you you've done a grouping you, with something like yeah you or something. exactly you're going to end up with hundreds and wonder what why they're all included yeah, yeah. okay something okay i'm back to this one um if you, you know um take them two characters out rich press a so what you'll see there because we've got more than 10 yeah yeah it says we've got more than 10 and then really what it's saying to there is if you click that it will take you off to the grid at that point yeah the full search thing just go back rich this is uh this is what dave webb feels when i'm doing the demonstration <laughs> yeah. Um, just um, just drop it down again. Right. So yeah. So back to this one. What what this is actually doing as well. It's only searching by. So if you type in something, um, some characters there, it's only searching on first name, last name, and payroll number at that point. It's not including uh, uh, your groupings or anything like that. That wouldn't make sense because this is search search by person. It's it's searching for information just in them fields. Could you have employee ID in that, Nath, or is it? Well, you jump the gun. Right. So, <laughs> so something super cool, yeah, is if you just type eight. Yeah, it's intelligent uh, yeah, it enough to yeah. know that you must be searching for the employee ID at that point. Yeah. And then likewise, if you put something alphanumeric in, it will also include the payroll field in there as well. <coughs> yeah, so obviously payroll, it could have um, uh, alphanumeric characters yeah. in. So then it starts looking in the payroll field as well. Yeah. Yep. All right, so if we do, yeah, do um, a, a, Right, so how many have we got? ART, try ART. All right, so we've got five there. So what you can do at that, in fact, go take it back to A, Rich. 
So it's saying more than 10. So if we click that view more results now, it passes that search through to the grid. Ah, so yeah, now this is, is this is narrowed down by A's. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And like I said, what would be really helpful on this is, is for the words to be highlighted because it'll be picking stuff up in yeah, marketing and head office yeah, and yeah. so on. Yeah. Um, so if you just change that search now to uh, ART, and then we get the smaller list again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just take the search out, Rich. So I think I'm done with searching there. So, so or filtering, I should say. Yeah. So what we've got on this grid now. So by default, um, you can see, can you see the numbers of, of a surname and first name? Yeah. Yeah. So number one is the first thing that, that it's sorted by. Number two is the second thing. If you click them, obviously what you can do is it'll change it into ascending or descending. And if you click it a third time, it'll remove the sort out of it altogether. Yeah. And then you can also get to that using the three dots next to it. So you've got ascending, descending, and then you've got two other options in there. And if you just click off it, Rich, I want to show what locking really means. So if by default, what we've done is we've locked the photo on, the, which is uh, the first column. So as you're moving through, uh, if yeah, you've got information up. over this right hand side, you still, you still know what it is, uh, sorry, which person it's on at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then oh, all you need to do, if you wanted to, don't lock that one, go back to ID, Rich. And if you lock the ID, and then if you move, uh, then two columns are locked now. And then if you cancel out of it, Rich, you know, cancel out of the grid, and then go back into it, and then slide. Um, so, do you not think it then? I think he, I think he really unlocked. Really. Yeah, I think he unlocked it just before we'd gone out. Very good. Yeah, it's remembered it, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we remember remember pretty much everything in the, about the grid state. So we're remembering what columns are locked. Um, also, Rich, if you could, could you move the work email address? Can you can you move it before the payroll number? Yeah, so you can adjust column positions as well. It'll remember that. And then yeah. also click the three dots, Rich, and then go down to uh, columns. And in here, let's remove the work email and work telephone number. Yeah, that's good. Isn't it? And then they've, uh, they've gone and again, it remembers the state of them as well. Is that there? Is, is all this cached like per device? It, no, it's cached. Uh, yeah, it's cached. You're right. Per device, per browser. Yeah. So these 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 settings are stored in uh, local storage. The, the reason mm -hmm. why we've decided to do that is obviously if you're using different devices, you might want to hide certain information because it don't quite look right, or you might use a device in a slightly different way. So it's remembered against the device and not the user that'd be easy can, can you just clarify something um the yeah, i'm not i'm going to jump in the gun here the the next and previous um can you just explain again um what order you you you're you're you, you're um you're browsing through the list yeah. so yeah. we had two options okay i'll tell you the way it works okay um so what it does is whatever you've sorted in this grid yeah the navigator picks that up so the navigator will then uh, move through surname and first name order but if you wanted to sort this grid by payroll number the navigator will then move through uh, in payroll number order mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay. thanks thanks i just just, uh, just, yeah. just the reason why we did that it, obviously is we could have put an option hidden away somewhere but i think um I think it would have been overkill, and I think people wouldn't have used it. 
So now it's a bit more automatic. They might have to be told in a support call. They might say it'd be good if this navigator moves through in payroll order, but that's where you guys could say it's an easy one. That's just da 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 da. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What happens if you, you know, would be that lock in there if you didn't lock yeah. one? What's at the start of the grid? Cause what, yeah, it's quite it, cool, really. It still it, work, it yeah. Flows through, yeah. Does so it? just do that, Rich. Lock the organisation, and then move, move, yes. and then it it finds its place, uh, it's, and then yeah, back uh, again. Uh, yeah. 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 I got, I got questions. Why that's right? And then just take the search out, Rich. All right, and then another design decision that we made. I don't know if we talked about it last time, but if if you've got more than 150 um, showing in the grid, yeah, then you haven't got access to the uh, grouping um, uh, above. So if you just group that by surname order it, You'd never really do it by surname or it, it creates yeah, a lot of overhead, cool. but you might have done it by department or location or some other grouping. All right. Yeah. So you've got that capability, but as soon as it goes over 150 employees, uh, that gets removed. Mm -hmm. Am I right in thinking that you say, guys, that the customers in your experience don't normally use that? You use that? Yeah, it's mostly we, yeah. we use it to use on like shifts and things like that. You'd cite right. by period schedule. Okay. Yeah, the issue we, we, we had uh, as, as developers and stuff is that the the only way you can group really is to pull everything in, and it doesn't scale. So if if you had ten thousand employees, yeah, yeah. we'd have to pull all ten thousand in to be able to group the grid. Mm -hmm. So that's why we've come up with this thinking. A sweet spot's probably about one fifty, uh, and mm -hmm. it would have been really slow. You know, it's it's having to calculate this and get all this information into somebody's browser. It's doing none of this on the server. It's all being done in the browser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Mike, did you have a question? Yeah, I got two. So just on the on this thing there, do you know when we've not got that? Say we wanted to target a certain field like location, we just do a search. Have we got the capability of just targeting a certain like grouping or header? No, I thought it'd be too complicated. Uh, okay. we can do it we can yeah. do it and i think i wanted to simplify the whole search process you know when when you when you've got a user if she wanted to uh narrow it down like you said to yeah this is using the search in the grid yeah right? yeah 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 so the, there's another thing that method that you can use to get what you want but yeah. using that search in the grid is you type in rochdale and then all of a sudden, all the location it will go down to Rochdale. But if somebody if somebody yes. had a first name of Rochdale, yeah, yeah, you're going to include them. Yeah. included. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think just for ease of use, I think I think that was fine because what what we what I've done, but but it hasn't been implemented yet, is we've got the filters. Yeah. Okay. Um. So if you cancel out of that, Rich, and just close that down. And then can you see the green filter at the top? Yeah. So that's where Ethel's going to be able to say, actually, okay, uh, I want to include just uh, Harewood at the moment. Uh, Harewood and Rochdale and not Middleton. Yeah. Yeah. And then she can also say, and I want to include, uh, sorry, um, and employee statuses that does not contain levers. So we've, I'm going to have put some operators in on this one as well. On that green filter where where you can say contains or not contains so yeah. that ethel can control you know quickly um i don't want to see levers yeah, yeah. i was just thinking for the lads you know like i said they're targeting a shift and they're putting num they're putting like so our shifts usually are like nine till five or something so and they're labeled as like nine till five the lads would be typing nine till five in that filter but obviously if it's the typing nine it might pick up a payroll number or something that's what i was getting at what, what, where would the nine to five be coming so from? So the, is there a are you on about the employee see... grid still, or are you on about something else? In no, the, the employee grid. So right. I don't know. Can you target period schedule from that employee grid? Yeah. 
Yeah, so if you put like, for example, like a zero nine, because you want the, everyone on the nine o'clock, yeah. then it'd pull, pull payroll numbers when it would have zero nine in as well. Yeah. That yeah, works. but they'd probably tie a few more characters. Yeah, and can finish it off. And yeah, that's uh, when the lads do it. You yeah. know, I don't so, like that. I don't like them. I think it gets really complicated for a user. Um, you know, the the individual filters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I think um, it gets really complicated. If you, if you compare, if you compare what we've got now with what we've got on the on mm. on the on time where the time where six products, um, Matt. Bevel, what, what do you think? I prefer it that the way it is now. So you're gonna have to, like Mike said, if if you was being very like generic and just typing a nine in, you're gonna yeah. have to get out of that habit, aren't you? And you'd put like the nine till five, like it is. But I think yeah. it's more flexible. If you don't know exactly what it is, you you're searching through. You obviously it just searches through it all, doesn't it? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's, cool. that's what it does. I think it's, yeah. a, I think it's a massive improvement on on the um, on the older. You know the old, the, the current, if you like. Current, yeah, where you're just such, where you're just searching through one yeah. one field, aren't you? I'm all, yeah. I'm hoping ninety nine percent of the time they don't even go into that grid. Yeah, I'm hoping they just click click at the top. Yeah, just click it, Rich, and they do sigh, and then they get all the Simons, you know. Or so, yeah, I know. I think it's it's excellent. I think yeah, and then what, click it. Click it, Rich, and then it just shuts up. And then, yeah, I mean, that's super good. quick compared to what we've got at the moment for finding an in individual, it's, isn't it's it? Very good. I think what the plan's going to be now. Now this is this sort of phase is capped off. I think we should do. I'll put um, a, a video together. You know, using that avatar um, yeah. that we we've got. And then what I'll, what I'll do is we'll, we'll everybody can have a look at that next week once it's been agreed. We'll we'll um, We'll post it on YouTube and then we'll add it to the uh, March agendas for the system performance reviews and that it will be on the it will be on the um, the customer copy as well as the the, uh, the office copy so we can start showing off at the end of the review what where we're up to with certain things I think it's I think it's um, I think this will be a, it'll be a, a good a good seller won't it this good feature yeah, showing people that filter side would be good. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Well done. I just got one more as well. Is that all right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> do you know the? Uh, do you know like Nif? Just going back on the like uh, the so like user preferences. So you have designed the grid how you want as a user. Do you know like where we said that we want to get into coffee shops and stuff? They might share one PC. So does it check the you? Does it like store it locally against the user's login as well, or is it just against that device? In local storage. So at the moment, uh, at the moment, I think it, Jamie, is it just? Um, I thought it was user. The device is it? It's just the browser. So it don't matter who's logged in. It's the same for anyone who's using that browser. Can it do yeah. the user and the browser? You could probably so, get it to work like that, yeah. Because obviously, if you'd like sharing a tablet, sharing a coffee machine, yeah. or something like that, you want it per user, don't you? And the obviously device. It's a weird one that might because yeah, yeah. Because you're gonna have like you got the coffee shop, you have got the free managers, for example, and they've all done their own like preferences to it, move the grids around. But then when they log on, it's based off what the yeah. grid is last oh, week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's a valid point. Um, that'd have to be taught. Yeah. Obviously, right. they have their own user accounts on that same PC, and they signed in. Then they get their own. Then, wouldn't they? Yeah, if it was on PC, it's yeah. a tablet though, isn't it? Maybe or a, yeah. uh, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Just that when Mike, you say it, that Mike is that a good idea? Not just the pretty <laughs> face. Yes, <laughs> on that. When you say it's like low, does it? Like you said, then did you mean if they sign into a different Windows account on that PC? Yeah, that's that's yeah. all I was saying. That that's yeah. probably what what we had in our head at the moment. That people probably don't jump on onto other people's PCs willy-nilly. No. Um, you probably sign in and then then obviously it, it will work right that way. Yes, but, yes, that is right, is it? If you sign in on the same PC with a different Windows yeah. account, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's we, fair we'll, enough, yeah. It will go to their own local storage. Yeah, no, that's right. that's right. normal, isn't it? I think with my yeah. example was a tablet, was it? 
Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I think um, I and, think we will change it though. I think it's a good idea that Mark. Any other comments from anybody? Is, where, is Dave present on this or not? No, he's not on this. No. I think it's Zach there? Yeah, Zach, what do you think of this? Yeah. You're muted, remember? Mike, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. only, the only downside as well to what you've said, really, is if you are sharing the same browser, if somebody clears the cache, you're going to lose it, yeah. You're going to, the other guy's going to lose his. Yeah. So. Just watch out, you know, in the future. It's not great when you yeah. when when you're sharing the same browser. You know what I mean? It's just Zach. all these smaller people. They're not gonna have like an IT add in their own Windows account, like they, they'll probably share the same PC kind of thing. Yeah. You know, as admin won it or something, and that's the account yeah. they all use. Yeah. Zach, what do you think of this? Oh, I like it. I think the way. Yeah. It's good. Is all the about no? No, at least no. Who else have we got? Who's got? Bevo's here. It's Bevo. Bevo, you 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 okay with this? Yes, giant step forward. Giant Brilliant. step. Good. Well done. Yeah, that's good. All right. Well, is that is that it? Should we should we stop yeah. the recording now? What? Uh, well, Was there anything else we wanted to? Uh, probably in in the. Uh... Can we talk about what we'll be showing in the next meeting? Is it worth saying or not? Yeah, by all means. Uh, yeah, go for it. So in the next meeting, what we should have finished off is the um, the uh, user policy. So in that user policy, you're going to be able to specify the employee range that that user can see. OK, yeah. and obviously it has an effect then on on what we've just shown you. And then as well as that, the green filter, the, the, the thing that says filter on at the top. Yeah. Yeah. And that should also be working as well. So that's that their own their own personal way of filtering down the the uh you know the uh the employee list. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When, and when, then well, well one other thing in, in advanced options as well, you're gonna have control over what groupings that you're gonna be able to uh, see. So that'll have an effect. Is that up and running, Rich, or not? To a point. Go on, out, show it, show it quickly, just so they know what I'm talking about. No, advanced options, isn't it? That's appearance, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you're just going to be able to uh, specify: is it enabled or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you're going to be able to specify the custom name of the uh, four custom groupings in there. And then that'll have an effect on what you see in the grid and also what you see in the personnel screen. So you so can is, get, rid, is, get rid of the ones basically that they don't want to use. Yeah. yeah so just, is that the user who does that for themselves then? Uh, no, not? this is the, the, this is a, a global setting for the yeah. tenant. So yeah. it's, so it's, a bit it's like under advanced options. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So, well, so when when uh, when when do you, when do the developers intend to talk to um, the Tamla guys about the um, about the, the the personnel fields? What month would that be? Do you think? Probably a couple of months off. Yeah. Okay. So the end of next month when we do the when we do this. Sorry, not the end of next month. The next the next um, the time we do a video. We'll be we'll be showing the filter, will we? Um, yeah, yeah. The the application policy, the yeah. this bit, and then the uh, and then the uh, user filter, so the green yeah. filter. Okay, good. So we still think it's a good idea to do a video of what we've seen today, you, you just ha with the avatar talking about those. You know, like a two minute video. Is that? Do you think that's yeah. a good idea? Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll do another one with the yeah. maybe next month with the the, yeah. the, the, the new options in. Good. It's good uh, as well to nip some things in the bud, like like Mike said. It's probably for, it does no harm doing it the way that Mike says on the. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, don't, the, don't, don't say it's a good idea too many times. <laughs> I've got another idea. Yeah, we keep it to yourself. <laughs> it's about the filters. Right, go on. Filter presets so you can have more than like a preset. You can have more than one. So like you can do a, 
say you configure a filter so filter yeah, one and then it's save like it away. Your apartment or something you can save it away and then you can yeah. you can create another filter to like a preset one because on the bigger systems you know like iac and stuff we have to toggle the filter go back into it remove what we want and then put everything back and it's all like from a support yes. point of view as well right yeah well, that fell on yeah. you can you can see the tumbleweed that's <laughs> a good idea just... bevel back the the car park, right? <laughs> it, is, it is a good idea i'll have a think about that one <laughs> right should we should we bring the vid it's got to be easy as well mike you know like for people to use and understand um as well can yeah. i can i bring the bit can i stop recording now is that okay i'm not yeah. going to stop everybody talking but is that is that all right yeah because you're just chatting about ideas now aren't you that's probably not what we want to share with the world so um one second record